behind me are a line of brand new Toyota Tacomas. And in this video, we are going on an off-road adventure, spending overnight in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, and we're gonna discover Toyota's big secret. But first, we've gotta air down these trucks. So out here on the trail today, we are airing down 220 PSI. So this crazy green is called Electric Lime, and this is the brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. But we're actually not gonna start in this one. We're gonna start in the one just over there. So I'm not gonna start my adventure in that Top Dog TRD Pro. I'm gonna start it in this, the TRD 4x4 Off-Road. We're gonna have a good reference of comparison before we jump in the TRD Pro because secretly, I think that this one is the best in the Tacoma lineup. Admittedly, it does seem counterintuitive to prefer the lesser of the off-road models. In the Toyota lineup, at the base end of the spectrum is the SR5, then you've got the Trail Edition, then we get to the TRD Off-Road, and above this, of course, is the TRD Pro. But I think that you'll find where the rubber meets the dirt, the TRD Off-Road is going to do 95, maybe 97% as much out in the rocks as a TRD Pro will do. This thing is an off-road machine, and it will save you some money going this route versus the Pro. So what's the difference between the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Pro version of the Toyota Tacoma? Let's find out. First off, of course, the design and the color options. So typically, the TRD Pro version of the Tacoma has a bunch of unique colors depending on the year. So for 2022, it is this bright green. It's called Electric Lime, and it really is an interesting color, but you get other visual cues that distinguish a Pro from an Off-Road. You get the cool headlights that say TRD Pro on them. Down here, you get the rigid industry fog lights that are these really bright LEDs. You get the really cool looking wheel and tire package, and of course, the hood scoop, in this case, blacked out. Visually, the TRD Off-Road, maybe not quite as cool as the TRD Pro model. You can't get the unique special colors. The tires are exactly the same as the Pro, but the wheel design, not quite as neat. Apart from the visuals, you do get some changes underneath mechanically to separate the TRD Pro from the TRD Off-Road. Things become quite different when we look at the suspension. So the TRD Pro has a Fox setup. It also sits a little bit higher, giving it better approach and departure angles than the TRD Off-Road trim. Underneath too, you'll notice like the big TRD bash plate in the front. But from an off-road technology standpoint, they're both pretty much the same. So for example, they both have the locking rear differential. They both have multi-terrain select. They both have that really cool crawl control function that'll distribute torque where it needs to go depending on the terrain. So this is kind of the interesting thing. Do you pay the extra money and get the TRD Pro with the upgraded suspension or do you get an off-road and then do it yourself in the aftermarket or even in the factory now because Toyota will sell you a Tacoma with a slight lift now, which is pretty cool. So that's really where the question lies. I mean, do you prefer the looks of the TRD Pro over the off-road? Um, do you prefer the color? That's a big deal. Do you just want the Fox suspension from the factory and leave it? Or do you want to buy an off-road, which is very, very, very capable as well, and then go through the process of maybe lifting it a little bit, changing out the wheels, changing out the tires, making it your own, but perhaps saving some money from the MSRP standpoint and maybe even a markup standpoint. So the elevation, 11,585 feet. Ignore the CRV in the background. Um, I think he came up the easy way. <laughs> and um, we came up the easy way, but we're gonna go down the hard way, so it's gonna get a little gnarly after lunch. So the CRV is probably not gonna follow us down that way. But yeah, 11,500 11, feet. That doesn't sound right. Our trail leader, Kurt, indicated it's time to go into low range. So here's how we do that in the Tacoma. Now low range, or four wheel drive low, will multiply the existing torque out of the engine, put a lot less strain on the drivetrain, and give you a lot of control off-road. So first thing we're gonna do, select neutral there on the transmission, and then here we have the four wheel drive selector, so we're gonna push in and twist. There you can see it turns off a lot of the safety gear, and now we're ready to roll. Well, it's been a couple of hours of driving various trims of new Toyota Tacoma, and I do have to say that these are very excellent trail rigs all around. They are a decent size, so visibility is good. They're easy to kind of bring in and out of trees, easy to pick lines. You have some choices versus something like 
a tundra where you would just have to, you know, squeeze your way through the trees. All right, we're starting to get into some of our technical spots, so really watch those lines you take, putting tires on top of the rocks and using those traction aids. So if you haven't locked your rear locker now, it would be a great time to do so as you start rolling up to these rocky sections. And uh, again, Jax and I are happy to hop out on foot. If anybody needs help, we'll kind of just play it by ear. Well, you heard the man. We are heading into some much more technical sections. What do you think of these, Emmy? You know what? I don't know if there's a new suspension tune for 2022, but I feel like there's a lot less um, head toss. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I need to check that out. Either that or I'm a lot smoother on the throttle. Either one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thank you. So we've hit some more technical terrain. Now we've been swapping in and out of various Tacomas throughout the day. And now I'm in this, which is a 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And this one actually is a secret weapon. So it's got an aftermarket set of tires. You can see them down here. The BFG KO2 all-terrain tires, the standard 22 and 21 uh, Tacoma use a Goodyear on the TRD Pro models. And I have to say these are so much better aired down. These uh, just seem to provide so much more grip, a lot more sidewall protection. So if you're looking to improve your Tacoma, your TRD Pro, I definitely look into a set of KO2s because they seem to make a big difference. Now, between the 21 through the 22, we have seen some suspension improvements and obviously the color, but a very similar truck in terms of tech. Oh, and then of course, the bed on this model isn't stamped, you got the sticker. But it's been a great day out here, hitting some much more technical terrain, so I'll keep you updated as to how the vehicles are performing. So I'm looking at Onyx Off-Road. This is called Middle Fork of the Swan River. And the cool thing about Onyx Off-Road, it will actually show you where to go and the difficulty uh, rating. Needs a spot. Feel free to holler. We're ready. So, so doing really good on this section. This is challenging in uh, stock height vehicles. We are really starting to climb now and the trail is getting quite technical. So it started out as probably a two or a three and then we stepped into the four region. Now we're probably closer to a five or a six. And we are starting to run into skid plates and really test the limits of the sidewalls on the Toyota Tacoma, but this vehicle is an extremely capable trail runner. I'm really pleased with how well it kind of dances through the trees. Every now and then we will hit a skid plate, but it's not a problem because this thing is fully protected. Now on the road, I do find the Tacoma to be a little bit compromised in seating comfort and transmission tuning still. So one of the kind of, I don't know, features, if you will, about a Tacoma, or maybe challenges with the Tacoma is the floor is very high and the seat is very low. And they have, of course, given it a height adjustable seat, but if you're taller, you're just gonna run into the sunroof then. So what that means is you end up driving it with your feet sticking out in front of you. And I find that to be uncomfortable on longer road trips because there isn't enough thigh support. So I'll start to experience some pain in my lower thighs. However, um, off-road, the advantage is that it does have a very high floor, right? So lots of ground clearance and you're not constantly scraping on stuff, which is a big, big pro. Um, now the other con on road, as I mentioned, is the automatic transmission tuning. And I still find it to hunt for gears constantly at our altitude. So we are in Denver about 5,000, 6,000 feet above sea level. And I do often find that it is often searching for gears going oscillating between like third, fourth, fourth, fifth, and then fifth, six. So the solution is get a TRD off-road with the manual transmission. <laughs> and then pick your own gears. And the manual, I've driven it on-road, I've driven it off-road, it transforms this vehicle. It's a great manual transmission. And it, it really is the way to go if you're looking at uh, the third generation of Toyota Tacoma. It's 
time to get miles per hour's opinion. What do you think, dude? Am I allowed to tell you? Are they embargoed? This is post embargo. Oh, okay, post embargo? We're having fun, huh? Yeah, it's great. They're great. They're awesome trucks. So another kind of challenge with the Toyota Tacoma I found from just personal experience is it can be a little bit tricky to engage the rear locking diff. So there's a button and then you push the button and sometimes it'll just sit there and blink at you and blink and blink and blink and then you have to drive forward and sometimes backwards, straighten it out, and it blinks and eventually it'll turn solid red and clicks on. Uh, now this game has been changed by the new Ford Bronco, which has the most immediate locker engagement, both front and back, I've ever experienced. It really is incredible. So I think Toyota could improve there. Once the locker's on, it works great. It's a normal locker, but just getting it to that point where it is fully on can be a slight challenge. Now we also have multi-terrain select. So these are various different off-road modes. So mud and sand, loose rock, mogul, rock and dirt, and then rock. I'm gonna probably go with loose rock because we've got a lot of these baby head-sized boulders that spit out from underneath the tires. I personally don't find that they do a huge amount, in my opinion. Oh, there we go, there's the skid. Oh, that was like a rear diff, I think. It's okay, still moving along. Yeah, I personally find that the difference between the modes isn't all that apparent, but it is there if you wanna play with it. And then of course you have something called crawl control. And crawl control is like off-road cruise control. It is pretty iconic in the Toyota world now, but basically it's like a one-footed driving program where, uh, actually no-footed, where you just let the vehicle uh, go at its own speed. You can choose from five different speeds and then it'll, uh, you know, crawl its way up a trail or down a trail for that matter. I find it better just to drive it with your feet. But yeah, we're just gonna keep crawling and see uh, where this trail takes us. Well, I think that was it. We just crossed the final couple of trees. All right, there's a few stragglers even higher, but that's it. We are above tree line now. I'm getting technical and I should not be driving with one hand. All right, pause here. All right, my sincere apologies, I had to drive through a thing. Nothing interesting happened though, but it did take two hands, for sure. Head this way, Chicago. Let's get off that rock. We gotta get that back end to climb. Oh, oh, oh. You got a rock right underneath it. Well, it appears this foreigner has caught up on this rock underneath it. Okay, hold right there. From there, you're gonna cut it passenger side. Not a whole lot. The expert spotting of Kurt will get him out of here. Right on over here. Okay, come right on up at me. This should give you a good nice. sense of how Let's steep it up. is. Now cut hard. Nice. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nice work. Sweet. So <laughs> the roll meter is almost maxed out in certain areas. There we go, look at that. 30 degrees, we just touched it there for a sec, so. All right, so we had a bit of a snafu here. Um, we were cruising up the trail and apparently someone's a little stuck on a shelf road just down the way. So we're having to back down this cliff and then um, Kurt's gonna take the 200 series Land Cruiser down and rescue this uh, person who's a little bit stuck. This is not an ideal situation. Should have grabbed a ride from Kurt and the Land Cruiser. I was not using my head per usual. I gotta walk down this shelf road. It's really steep. I'm having a hard time in my off-roading shoes. And we'll see, uh, see what's going on with this stuck vehicle that the mighty Land Cruiser is going to have to go rescue. 
Well, it appears I found the problem. There's a Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road that has driven off the trail, it looks like. It was actually the red one I was driving earlier, but I'm not driving it now, luckily. So I think we're gonna use the Land Cruiser maybe to winch it, or maybe the Max tracks it out. We'll have to wait and see. That was a beautiful recovery from Kurt and the team and the driver, she did awesome. So back on the trail and back to the top of the mountain. Well, we got that vehicle out over 12,000 feet. And I'm like walking straight up, probably a quarter mile to a third of a mile. This is where you call me a baby. Welcome to the Lime Green 2022 Toyota Tacoma. TRD Pro. It's so steep I can't actually put my seatbelt on. But let's talk about what the Toyota drives like. Now unfortunately there is a cooler in the back seat that is creating quite a ruckus. So for 2022 there are quite a number of changes to the Tacoma TRD Pro. It's got the revamped suspension, new geometry, slightly taller ride height, and I do have to say initial impressions, this thing is quite similar to the old one. <laughs> ride quality rise, at least the 2021 model. Um, and the additional ground clearance is nice. It's nice to have just a little bit more peace of mind as you start traversing up the mountain. So what do you think of the color? Electric green. Now, interestingly enough, the Forerunner is also bright green in the TRD Pro model, but that one is a different shade and it's got a different name. So first impressions, not much head toss in the new 2022 Tacoma. Uh, it feels like they've done a better job of controlling that lateral left to right movement. But apart from that, the ride quality is remarkably similar to the 2021 model. And that is to say quite good. It, it's got good dampening as we uh, cruise over these mounds and these boulders at over 11,000 feet above sea level. And it feels very confident. I'm really enjoying the way that this vehicle is handling the trail. It's pretty similar to most third gen Tacomas that you've driven. They haven't changed that much. It's got the same 3.5 liter V6. 278 horsepower, it's got the six-speed automatic, the locking diff, the multi-terrain select the crawl control, so that's very familiar. The, the bed stamping is cool in the back where it says TRD Pro, and the color is unique. But if you have uh, driven TRD Pros in the past in the Tacoma, you'll be familiar with this model. <music> So this is kind of interesting in this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, when you turn the wheel, the camera actually turns too. It tries to give you the best possible view of where you're going. So when you're going straight, it points straight. When you turn left, it tries to point left a little bit, or at least, I don't know, crop up the pixels to show you the furthest left part of the screen. That's kind of funky. All right. Rolling into camp. Very cool. Here's camp. So they got it pre-set up for us and everything, tents and all. Look at this, it's got my name on it. Let's see what our accommodations for the night courtesy of Toyota will look like. Very nice, so we've got a cot, got a little mattress here. Bear beware, maybe some instructions. Ooh, looks like we've got toilet instructions and a Lux pillow. Ooh, this is gonna be a great night's sleep guys. Now up here even at the very end of August we'll probably get into the 40s maybe 30s at night so gotta dress warm. Well it's a new day I had a nice night's sleep. Toyota provided these 20 degree sleeping bags and uh, it worked really well. We probably hit into the low 30s last night but uh, I slept well. Anyways um, you find me now behind the wheel of a Tacoma I haven't really considered as a off-road trail option. This is an SR5, but it's an SR5 trail. And in the past, the trail has been 
kind of an appearance trim package on top of an SR5, which is a base model Tacoma. So you didn't get the, the crawl control, you didn't get the locker, um, you didn't get the cool traction aids, that kind of thing. But Toyota has done something very interesting for the 22 model year. You see for 22, they've added a rear locker to the trail. That's right, an SR5 with a rear locker. Now it doesn't have the multi-terrain select, so it doesn't have the off-road drive modes, it does not have um, crawl control, nothing like that. But the rear locker, in my opinion, has always been better than all of those other features. It's like The reason you got a TRD off-road or TRD Pro is to get access to the rear locker, along with the suspension upgrades, but the rear locker has always been a really big deal for me. And now you feel a lot more confident tackle river, tackling river crossings like this. Let's talk about some of the cool and maybe not so cool features of the SR5 Trail versus the models we were driving yesterday. Now it's worth noting this is not a TRD branded Tacoma whatsoever. It's not a TRD Sport. It isn't a TRD Off-Road. It certainly is not the TRD Pro. This is what they call an SR5. So the SR5 is the base end of the Tacoma Spectrum. The Trail is kind of a package on top of that. So what does that give you? Well, from a design standpoint, it gives you some of the coolest looking wheels in the truck industry. A 16 inch gold, or maybe it's a bronze painted wheel, looks fantastic, especially against this kind of flat gray color. Along the front, you've got a Toyota script in gold. Now this does run the same tire as a stock pro or a stock off-road, so it's a Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT tire. As we mentioned yesterday, not my favorite tire, in the off-road world, but it is functional and it will get you down a fair number of trails if you uh, air it down properly. The cool thing is yesterday, this trail edition had no problems keeping up with the TRD off-road or the TRD Pro when the going got tough. One of the more distinct design elements of the trail edition, and this is the same as it was in 2021, the boxes in the back. So the bed, still five feet, but what you'll notice is Toyota has equipped the trail with these boxes, these bed containers. Now the one on the passenger side is just a little bit of additional lockable storage. The one on the driver's side actually has this little snowflake icon on it and that's because that one is a cooler. Now these are cool, but they do take up a lot of bed space so you may want to unbolt them and remove them if this was your, uh, your only truck. Uh, because it does compromise the amount of stuff you can carry, but if you're looking to tailgate, then maybe keep them in there. You know, the TRD Off-Road is a, is, is a better version of the TRD Pro because you can save some money and then you still get all the off-road gear. Well, this you'll save even more money over the, the TRD Off-Road. I don't have pricing yet, but typically it's several thousand dollars less and you don't get the crawl control and that kind of thing with the knob, but you do get a rear locker. Now, of course, you also get the same tires as a TRD Offroad or a TRD Pro. You still have the 16 inch wheels with a big sidewall. I mean, maybe you don't have the same kind of aggressive headlights, right? You don't have the nice leather interior, but who really needs leather? The class seats are great. And you get these incredible bronze wheels, which look fantastic. I don't know guys, I think this is the one to get. I, uh, they, they bring along all these Tacomas for us to drive on these trips and I started yesterday focusing on the off and the pros because I thought those would be the clear winners but now that I'm driving this, I'm thinking this might be the winner. Now we're going to have to get this back to Boulder and do some independent testing on our own trails, really see what it can do but I'm really digging this vehicle, I really like this a lot. Well there you go, that was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got the clear clearance, it's got the four-wheel drive system, it has a locker. It's got cloth seats, which in some ways I prefer. It's got the big screen. Get this one. Definitely get this one. Plus it's got gold wheels and gold wheels make everything better. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this camping adventure with the Toyota team. I'm going to park this puppy up and think about my life choices now. And we'll see you guys next time on another episode of the Fastlane Truck. <laughs>